You've been a strong defender of rule of law. And I want to ask you, when it comes to the uh, compromise that was agreed yesterday, would you say Viktor Orban is the biggest loser here? I will uh, rather speak about the winners. The winners are the citizens of Europe and uh, the taxpayers, because uh, in, in bad times we need good news. There are two good news for the citizens that the budget is unblocked, because we desperately need to start to distribute the money for recovery after COVID. And the second for the taxpayers. Uh, for a long time, the, the people in Europe are telling us that they want their money to be better protected wherever the money goes. And you, you know that we have a very big redistribution uh, machine. Uh, we are sending a lot of money to all the member states. So uh, the, the bigger protection of the money and, of course, also of the rule of law principle, because this, this was my intention to achieve that when I came for the first time with this idea already in 2017. Right. And, and I want to ask you a question specifically about the reaction in Hungary, because uh, Viktor Orban is saying that this is a victory for him, that he's been able to separate the money from the politics. But I look at the, the wording on the deal and I don't see anything that's changed except for a few uh, guarantees that uh, the European Court of Justice could play a role. So I wonder, why is he claiming victory over this? It's a question for Mr. Orban. It's good to read the, te the text, uh, which you have done, and thank you for that, because uh, we always uh, should know what we are speaking about. I uh, personally think that to include the decision of the European Court of Justice is a good idea that we all need more legal certainty and our uh, European Court in Luxembourg is the, the one which has the decisive word on what is legal and uh, what is possible to do uh, from, from the legal perspective. So uh, I believe that uh, the decision of the European Council from tonight uh, might mean some postponement uh, and for the Commission uh, we will use the time for further analyzing the situation in all the member states and uh, prepare the ground for a possible triggering of the, of the procedure. But I cannot say now that we will trigger it against any concrete country, uh, I, I mean uh, Hungary or, Pol or Poland, which uh, were the countries which blocked it. We will be objective and we right. will and, and, you uh, know have maybe more time to, to do this right. and, analytical and, you know work properly. Yes. Right. And, and a lot of this I know you talked about was accountability. And we know that this was a huge theme for the Dutch and for particular for Prime Minister Mark Rutte, where he said every euro cent needs to be checked. Money cannot go to cronies. That's something that, that he said uh, many times. Do you think that with uh, this compromise that you achieved last night, are you going to be able to do that to make sure that every euro that is spent is checked and done properly? This is a very big step forward, uh, and it gives us a much uh, stronger tool to guarantee what you are asking about and what, uh, rightly so, Mr. Prime Minister Rutte is asking for, because uh, his country belongs to the net contributors country, uh, countries and the taxpayers in the Netherlands, of course, again, rightly so, ask about how our money is protected. And uh, I can guarantee you that uh, this uh, new tool was heavily needed. To, to give this guarantee to the taxpayers, not only in the Netherlands. And we will, as Commission, uh, act in objective manner. We will do the proper analysis, and if necessary, we will use this tool. And Commissioner, just as a final question, I have to ask you about Brexit purely because we understand that the head of the Commission was briefing European leaders and she says the situation is very serious. She thinks the probability of a no deal is now bigger, higher than that of a deal. How worried are you at the Commission about the prospects of a no deal happening almost imminently on Sunday? I have to refer to the words of the president because I am not part of the negotiating team. Uh, well, we still have several days ahead of us. Uh, no deal uh, option uh, is uh, not a good option, but uh, it's up to the negotiators whether they can still do something about uh, uh, the, the situation and whether they can uh, get uh, or achieve uh, the common understanding and common agreement. Still, there is some, some time.